It is uh, 4.26 in the morning. Headed out to uh, scout some new area, uh, potentially hang trail cameras, and uh, spot some deer. So it's early, it's gonna be a hot day, so I wanted to get out there before it gets too hot. Got a little drive ahead of me, but I'm excited to go check it out. Good morning. Uh, early morning out here, scouting. I've gotten to the area that I uh, found on the maps and stuff. But uh, a lot of cows, a lot of fences. They're really good back there. A lot of good trees and stuff. But uh, it's all public land, but I'm not sure how it works with the fences. And it's, uh, I think it's called like uh, conservation something type of land. So it's not like a wildlife management area, but it is public where you can come out and hunt. Uh, a lot of cows. I just don't want to deal with the cows and trail cameras and them finding my mineral spots and uh, crossing the fences and not sureing, not being really sure exactly, you know, if that's okay or not. I know it's all public, but it's like eh, I got some other options. I'm gonna go check out. Uh, I'm going to still drive the border and see if there's better access points, um, but I'm not really feeling this spot yet, so uh, that's how it goes. Alright, I uh, traveled uh, kind of far to get around some mountains, and I'm back where I want to be, and uh, I'm going to start hiking. Looks like there's a missing dog out here, Blue Healer, and... Um, Hopefully, uh, I'll be calling for the dog's name, Roscoe, when I'm out here. Not sure how long ago it's been missing, but it's got to suck. But I always see uh, bighorn sheep out here. There's a herd of, I think, 40 that was planted here a while ago. And uh, I always see them on the way back. And so earlier, I was on the other side of those mountains, and I uh, saw them with the binos um, feeding. So it's always cool to see them. Never any really huge rams, but it's always still fun to watch. Got my spotting scope in the back and uh, gonna start the hike and watch for rattlesnakes because I've seen, I've had one rattlesnake right here and I've had uh, two more about 500 yards in and it's the worst. So, um, see what happens. Uh, I got a little buck It's down here. Try to get him on camera, but he went behind the trees. Uh, I'm gonna set up scope and kind of just glass this whole area. Um, I wish I was here like an, an hour earlier, but that's how it goes. All right, so nothing else spotted but that first little buck. He's somewhere down in there. Uh, so I keep looking over there just to see if he pops up. He was young. Um, so now I'm gonna keep working my way. I'm trying to spot some deer bedded or something just to get the scope on him. But uh, nothing yet. A lot of grasshoppers. As you can see. Well, nothing so far. Been glassing for about 15 minutes or so. I uh, just, the uh, one little buck so far that was over there. So I'm gonna keep working my way around and uh, try to glass more of that side. But it's beautiful, I just, I think I'm a little late. It's hot out and deer are already uh, up in their beds, is my assumption, it's 8.22 right now. Well, not really seeing anything. I know there's deer out here, but 
I always see him a lot earlier in the in the day, so it's good to still come out here and scout. I got one other spot I'm gonna check on the way back home. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get hot. I'm gonna move on and work my way back home. There's a buck. So if you look at this buck, his mouth is open quite a bit. And at the pictures, you can see how swollen his jaw is. And when he first stopped, you can see drool coming out of his mouth. Um, I think it has blue tongue. I sent it off to, sent the pictures off to Nebraska Game and Parks. They said it certainly could be, but they'd have to have samples from it to, to know for sure. But let me know in the comments if you guys think this is a deer that has blue tongue. Thanks. And it's funny how mule deer always stop. They bounce, stop and look back, and that's when you shoot them. As long as you got a good range on them, and you think you know the range, you can go for it. The white tail, as soon as they go, they just go. They're like dogs, man. They just flat run. So it's it's really rare that I've seen uh, white tail stop and look back. But mule deer always boing, 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 whew, bam, shoot them. So it was cool. Got some a little bit of action at least. finally made it to the WMA wildlife management area I tried every like corner and I finally found found a way to get in uh, every other spot was access denied or no trespassing uh, so finally got out here but it's 90 plus degrees um, and the heat waves are really bad in the optics I I've been glassing but I'm not gonna go take a hike I'm gonna head home and see family and and just chill for the rest of the day with with the kids and the wife so Hope you enjoyed this quick video and uh, stay tuned to see where I head to next. Thanks.